create a new cube. Change the size to X2000. Y1000. Z3500. Select Filled. Set the radius to 150 and the subdivision to 3. Add another cube and change the size to 155 on all sides. Go to Mo Graph. Cloner. Make the second cube a child of the cloner. Change the mode to object. Drag the big cube into the cloner object. Set the up vector to Y. And the distribution to vertex. Change the X segments to 10, the Y segments to 4, and the Z segments to 19. Select Render Instances. Now zoom into the cube. Add a new material. <laughs> Set the color to white. Go to the reflectance channel and add the Beckman reflection. Turn the brightness down to zero. Go to Texture. Choose for ANL. Lower the mix strength to 10. Run free. Now drag it onto the cloner. Let's create the top line. Create a new plane. Add another cloner. Make the plane a child of the cloner. Change the mode to grid array. Decrease the middle count to 1. Increase the size of the other counts that you have separate planes. Bring it to the top. Don't look behind your back. Create a new material. Deselect the color and reflectance channel. Select the luminance channel and scale the brightness up to 150. Drag it onto your top line. Now create a new sphere. Scale it up a little bit. Add another new material. Go to the reflectance channel and add the Beckman reflection. And again go to texture and choose for ANL.
Now change the color. Add the material to the sphere. At least. Go to your render settings and add the effect ambient occlusion and global illumination. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.